show you how to make an old fashioned molasses cake up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. Ooh, She's bringing the Trailer Park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet ya She's the queen of the park She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya Jolene Sugar Baker It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, today I thought I'd share with you an easy cake recipe that I've been fixing for a long time, and it's kind of a vintage recipe, and it uses molasses, which is actually a byproduct of the sugar manufacturing kind of industry and it smells nice and dark and it's something you would have put on your pancakes but it sure does make a great cake and it's the molasses cake and it's kind of like gingerbread but it's super simple to make and I'm going to show you how to make it up next. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making the molasses cake is really simple. Today I'm using the stain mixer but you could probably mix this by hand really simple on your own. But what we're going to do is in the mixer, we're going to put one and a half cups of regular sugar right on in there. So go ahead and pour that right on into the bowl. And one cup of softened butter goes on in there. And you're going to need three eggs. So get those ready and just dump those on in there. So let's get those right on in there. You're going to cream this together till it's nice, light, and fluffy. And we're going to get that going right now. There we go. Now we're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla right on into there and three-fourths cup of the molasses right on into the mixture and you're going to mix that around just a little bit to get that mix in. Next up, you're going to add three-fourths teaspoon of salt right on into the mixture just like that. One teaspoon of ground ginger right on into the mixture. Two teaspoons of ground cinnamon right on into there and we have three-fourths teaspoon of baking soda right on into the mixture and we have ground cloves and most of you only know cloves from those pometers you know those things you stick you stick the cloves in the orange to make those air fresheners or maybe nasty cigarettes but um, clove is actually a great ingredient that goes in cakes and cookies and people forget about it and it really does make a great interesting cake flavor. So we've got three-fourths uh, teaspoon of ground cloves right on into the mixture just like that. And give that a mix around just a little bit. Now I have three-fourths cup of regular milk here and three and three-fourths cup of regular flour and we're going to mix it in a little bit at a time with the milk and the flour until it's well mixed. There we go. Now we have our batter for our molasses cake and that's a pretty amber kind of brown color and it smells good too. And I've got a 9 by 13 baking pan here, just a cake pan, and we're going to spray this down to make sure that it comes out okay. So spray that in and then pour out the mixture right on into the pan just like this and we preheated the oven to 350 degrees so this is going to bake for about 35 minutes in your oven and you're going to use a toothpick test to make sure that everything comes out okay and make sure that it's cooked and just keep an eye on it and we're going to just spread it out into the pan just like this make sure that it's even and we're just going to pop this into the oven for about 35 minutes now.
And there we have it, my molasses cake. It was so easy to make from scratch, and it kind of looks like gingerbread. And I put a little bit of whipped cream up on top, but you could make a frosting or whatever you like right there on top, or maybe a little bit of ice cream right there on the side. But it's nice and golden brown and kind of gingerbready color, and I just can't wait to try it. So let's get a little bit of the whipped cream and some of the cake here and give it a taste. Mmm! That's like a delicate gingerbread is what that's like. Mmm! It's light and airy and it's not as strong as a gingerbread. It has the spice flavors like the clove and the cinnamon and it sure is good with that whipped cream and sure would make a great ending to a great dinner that you made for your uh, family. I hope you get a chance to make my molasses cake, and if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the Trailer Park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. Add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm there, too. And, of course, add me on Google+. Plus. I'm there, too. There's more cooking shows right around the corner, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends so they can make this great molasses cake, too. I'll be back real soon. I love you all. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.